Hello. Wow, that's a terrible idea. Hello? Hey everybody, this is Still Alive Part 2. It's been a while, it's been a few weeks. Here's the latest. I'll wait for a few people to come on. What's going on, Terry55? Good to see you. Hey Adam, what's up? It's been a quite a bit. Yeah, part two, the sequel, Charles. Part two is, is even better than part one. Hey, Marek. Marek. Marek? I don't know where the accent is. Hey, Reese. You know, I'm, I'm here. I wanted to check in. I know it's been, a, I, it's been a minute, a few minutes. So I thought I'd check in and uh, say hello and tell you guys what's been going on. So, um, hey, hey, hey. So yeah, the past uh, past few weeks have been a bit a uh, bit crazy, been upside down. Um, moved out of my my last place, expecting to move directly into the next place um, with the new studio and everything, but the new place wasn't done yet. So uh, we were kind of forced into leaving the uh, the old place. The new place wasn't ready. So we don't really have anywhere to, to really settle down right now. So we're, we're kind of moving a bit around a little bit and, uh, you know, setting up a makeshift studio here and there. Um, right now I'm actually in Georgia, just um, on a uh, sort of a family trip here. But uh, hopefully next week I'll be back, or not back, but I'll be in the new place, setting, set up in the new studio, which is going to be awesome. And then we'll be able to start making, making the videos again. Hey, Natan. Anyway, how, how's everybody doing? I, I, I've been missing everybody. Uh, my son's good, Dino. He's uh, taking a nap, I think, back there. Um, yeah, uh, Harrison is doing great. He's huge. I'll, I'll show you guys what he looks like. It's pretty crazy how quickly he's growing. He's a little swaddled. It's a little dark. Say hi, Harrison. He'll make an appearance in better lighting, I'm sure, later on. I lost the chat. Where's the chat? Anyway, all is well. It's a little crazy. How's everybody doing? You guys uh, making time to practice now that summer's over? Hey, Meep. Thank you, Charles. Yeah, he's a sweetie. He's uh, listening to a lot of um, a lot of jazz, a lot of Bach, and a lot of D'Angelo. Trying to make it well-rounded in terms of the music. Basically, just trying to get him to listen to what I like, so that we can agree on music when he grows up. I think that's a that's the way to go. Man, I know, John. I got to put out more loops. I'm telling you. So you know. Just to do a quick summary of what I was saying before, moved out of my old place, but my new place isn't ready yet, so we've been a little bit displaced for the past few weeks. Bach feeds for the win, indeed. Indeed. Well-tempered clavier. He was listening to that in the womb, so he knows it really well. Now that he is, uh, yeah, Wu-Tang, that'd be good too. The loops are coming back, Patrick. Why am I moving? Because... Um, because G Moore, what's going on, G Moore? Um, moving because I, we were renting and now we're, we're buying a place, which is exciting. But it's uh, it's just not ready yet. So we're we're hopefully going to be closing next week, and uh, the lease ended on our last place. So we had to we had to skedaddle. Just did your um, Caleb just did his high school and all state jazz edition on bass with Namon. <laughs> Pneumonia, jeez. Well, I hope you're feeling uh, feeling okay, and uh, nothing like doing a, an audition when you're coughing up phlegm. Um, 
Avawas is writing an album. That's awesome. That's awesome. Ableton versus Pro Tools. Uh, I don't have any direct experience with Ableton, actually. Sorry, I'm like covering the camera. I should switch it to the side. Um, come on, come on. Okay. So let's see here. What, what were you saying? Ableton, Pro Tools. Um, Pro Tools is great. It's industry standard. I use Logic for the most part, though. But good luck on the audition if you haven't had it already. Let's see. You just had your audition. So I hope it went well. What was the, uh, what did you have to play for that? By, yeah, you know, wondering what you had to play for that audition. I remember my Allstate auditions. Always something out of the Omni book. Um, Neo Soul on ukulele. I don't know, but I'm sure it can be done. Allstate jazz on tenor sax in a few days. Do I have any tips? Don't try to impress anybody. Just play what makes you sound good. Man, all the Allstate auditions. I didn't think it was this early in the year. What is it? I guess it's late September, but man, good luck. That's awesome. Oh, I remember when, when I got my wisdom teeth out, I was so pissed I couldn't practice. And that was when I was in high school and like wanting to practice all the time. It was so frustrating. So it's a good opportunity to do ear training when you can't play. I hope everybody's doing okay with all these uh, storms and earthquakes coming through. It's pretty crazy. We, we picked, uh, I mentioned before, I'm in, uh, in Georgia right now. We picked a good, a good week and weekend to be here for once there's not a hurricane. Hey, Tony. So I was just saying earlier, in between uh, homes right now, moved out of my last place thinking that the next place was going to be ready, and it wasn't. So uh, we're displaced hopefully going to be in the new place not in georgia i'm in georgia now but the new place is not in georgia we're just away on this trip so yeah hopefully hoping to be in the new place next week early next week am i sleeping at all i didn't really sleep last night because we we uh we flew to uh to savannah early this morning and i woke up at about 4 30 in the morning at eh, 3 45 in the morning we left at 4 30 and um Harrison, my my son, was keeping us up all night. So I think I got like two hours of sleep. So if I'm feeling a little low energy, that's probably why. What did you guys say? What did you guys say? Did I study at Berkeley? No, New England Conservatory of Music. Where have I been? That's where I've been, Tony. I hope that makes sense. Uh, Dino's saying, I stopped playing because of collage for like a month and I feel like I forgot all my music theory I don't know what collage is that college I don't know Tyler let's do the lessons man let's make it happen sorry I'm just catching up on these uh, comments here senior in high school sucks because we just got a bunch of cool songs why is that why does that suck I'm confused um, new soul piano albums. Uh, I mean, the Robert Glasper stuff is cool. That's sort of more jazz crossover, but it's good stuff. Where in Georgia? Uh, Hilton Head, Savannah area. Had to walk a bass line. Have you met Miss Jones? Yep. Improvise on fast blues and F. They haven't changed that in 15 years. And etude, yeah. It's always the same with those auditions. You know, those, are just, those auditions are tough. I mean, it's cool to work towards something, but at the same time, you're like, you're, I'm talking about all state auditions, or really any auditions when you're trying out for like a competition or something like that. Um, you're basically like getting judged by maybe two or three people on what they think you're playing when music really should be really uh, subjective. So it's a little, it's a little weird, but... I think it's something to work towards. It's not a bad thing. Just don't um, don't get too hung up on what other people are thinking about your playing. All right, let me let me catch up here. I'm going slow. All right, reading through the comments. Reading through the comments. Would you rather never be able to play again, or never be able to listen to music ever again? Well, if I wasn't able to play, that if I was able to play but not listen, then that wouldn't really help me out. Oh, I see what you're saying. 
Well, you know, this this sounds really egotistical, but my favorite music is the music that I make, which I think makes sense, right? That's how that's how I think it should always be. Because if you're making the music that you want to make, then you're you're happy, you're fulfilled. Um, like my ideal music, what I have in my head is what I what I want to make. So my music is my favorite music. It's not meant to sound egotistical. I obviously listen to all sorts of music, um, but uh, in terms of what I what I like the most, it's it's what I hear in my head and then want to manifest. All right, I got 10% battery, so this is going to die soon, so I'm going to try to rip through a couple more of these. Do I teach bass lessons? Not really. I'm not that great of a bass player, but... Um, yeah, so should be back with, uh, you know, the regular content, frequency and all that next uh, late next week, um, moving into my new place early next week, so hopefully that all goes well. Uh, loop of the day will be coming back. Baby is doing great. Um, coming through, coming through, going through these. Hey, Rich, I'm glad to be back, too. I re I'm really sorry I left you guys hanging. It wasn't cool, but it was a little bit a little bit crazy here on my end. So I hope you guys understand. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because, as I said, the, uh, the battery just drains from my phone when I do these. So next time I'll plug in. And I'll probably have some downtime on this trip, so maybe I'll do another one of these live streams. Do I have any band advice for a band leader whose players aren't motivated to learn theory or practice? Um, lead by example. I think that's a really good way to do it. You know, if you have enthusiasm, you can't you can't force enthusiasm on somebody. But if you're enthusiastic about something, then that that can help spill out onto other people. But you know, as they say, you can bring a horse to to water, but you can't make him drink. Is that what they say? I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna say goodbye, guys. Thank uh, thanks y'all. Thank. I can't talk. I'm so tired. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'll do another one of these live streams soon and um, hope, to be, hope to be in the new studio early next week. So see you soon, and thanks for watching. Talk later. Bye.